Okay, so what we're going to do is go into while loops for the next two videos, but we're going to use while loops in different ways. I'm going to teach you all a concept within while loops, um, using while loops in this video. The next video is going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new um, Python script. Okay, great. Um, and we're going to look at a couple concepts, you know, I want to actually look throws um, a new concept at you all um, that allows us to write shorthand. So if, if I were to say I is, let's, and this is what it looks like. So if I say I is equal to one, okay, what you can easily do in your back of your mind, and, and this makes sense, I is equal to um, I plus one, right? We know that if we print I at this current time, okay, let's say print I here and let's print I again up here just so that we can see what happens. Um, okay, why am I printing I? I don't know. But the, this is a little shorthand that I think that it's worth noting. We're going to learn this today. Remove the teacher's version. Okay. Okay. So when I run this using the play button, it should say one, then two. Let's do that again so you can see it. One, then two. So what this does, it this makes sense. So i is equal to one, so print i, it's one. i is equal to i plus one, this is equal to two. Okay, that should make sense. What I could do is essentially, instead of writing it like this, I can write it as i is equal to, or i plus equal one. This gives you the same notation as i plus or i is equal to i plus one it's the same thing here so when i run this i'm going to get the same thing one and two one and two so i know that's a little hard you do that you you get more practice with it as the more you see it but it's nice for you to at least be introduced to it now okay it's just that's not our main part of the video but it's part of the video um with that being said we can go ahead and just erase that and so what we're going to do is, or I'll keep it, but I'll comment it out. What I would want to do is talk about breaking and continuing. Okay, I want to be able to break uh, a while loop. So I want to be able to stop it from working and it's legitimately, or stop it at a particular point. And so what I can do is say i is equal to zero. Let's start it off by initializing it and say wow, okay i is less than five okay and so come to find out we can you can think of the while loop going going into it a little bit deeper as if it's a gate and so while this statement is true keep the gate open okay so let's say while i is less than five i'm gonna say if i is equal to three i want this to break okay and so otherwise continue I mean not continue sorry um, print I and then I wanted to incrementally do I plus plus equals one and so that's why I taught you all that so I don't have to always type I is equal to I plus one I can just do I plus equals one Okay, so this actual line is very important so that I can actually change the loop because before we'd have the user decide when we would break the loop, but now this is actually having the computer continually increase until it gets to three and then it's going to stop. So when it gets to three, it's not going to even print three, it's going to just break. Um, so it should give us zero, one, then two. Okay, zero, one, then two. Okay, let's say for example, I change this to six. What should happen? So in the back of your mind, you should note that I will never equal six because it's gonna stop, the gate's gonna stop at five. So let's just do this, so it should give us zero, one, two, three, four, and that's it. Up to four, not including five, okay? And so I can run that again so you can see it. So it's zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's that. So that's how break works. Oh, let's do one more example. Let's do two. So ideally, what do you think is going to happen when I do when I break it at two? Okay, 
I it would I is equal to two. Ideally, you should think that it should break at zero. It should print zero than one and not show two. Okay, good. So with that being the case, we're gonna do one more um, while loop. Okay. And this one is a little bit interesting. We're gonna initialize it. I is equal to zero. Same concept. While I is less than five, which is fine. Fantastic. And then this time, what we're gonna do is again have an if statement. If I is equal equal to three, we're gonna do again I plus equals one. Okay. But at this particular moment, we're gonna do continue. We're gonna go continue. And I'm going to print I, and then I'm going to do I plus equals one. So I could have explained it as I'm typing, but I think it makes the most sense for me to display what's going on logically. Um, and what I'm trying to do is essentially skip three. So when I is equal to three, it's going to increment it still. But it's not going to continue with the code. It's going to go back to the top. Whereas break stops the code. Because as soon as you break, you just stop it. Whereas continue says, don't continue on to this code. Go back to the top of the for loop. I mean, the while loop, sorry. So when I do run this, it's going to show zero. Check if i is equal to zero. I mean, if um, zero is equal to three, it's not. And then it's going to, you know, print zero and then go to two, go to one. Um, one is if one is equal to three, it's not. So we're going to do that. And then once it's going to do it for two, then go go for th go check for three. When i is equal to, when i is equal to three, it does equal three. It's going to go to it's going to increase it, continue, but not print it out because of the fact that we're continuing back to the top of the loop. And then it's going to go for four. So that's the, that four is not equal to three. So it's going to go. It's going to print four, and then. Um, Increase the five and five is not less than um, five, so therefore the gate's going to be closed. So let's go ahead and run this. Zero, one, two, four, then zero, one, two, four. So that's the the, the, the continue aspect. So if I were to change this to let's say one, right? When it's equal to one, it's going to you know continue and skip this print, so it's going to ignore one. So you're going to have zero, two, three, four. Zero, two, three, four. Okay, so that is your break. That is your continue. And you learned a new shorthand regarding writing I plus one is equal to I. All right, thank you for watching and have a great day.